hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is favor thank you very much for clicking on this video today i'm going to be showing you how i've made this my beautiful wig machine sewn wig not hand sewing so thank you very much for clicking for those coming here the first time viewing for the first time sorry kindly subscribe to this channel for more beautiful content and for those who have been here before without subscribing please like and subscribe thank you very much so let's go into the video one two three come on so we're starting with the canvas head this is the canvas head size 22 so this is the front and then this is the back i like can see the shape of the hair so this is the cap i'm using the wig cap i'm going to use the match wig cap sorry so that's it so you take the wig cap out of the pack and then just this is the front the can you see that's the front of the wig cap and this part is the back you can see the difference this side is like a v closed and the front is far apart so that's how you know your front and then your back of the wig cap okay sorry i'm using the back let me turn it to the front so i'm using the back of the wig cap let me just flip it so this is it this is and the the canvas head already has line like this line is like a guideline for you to follow like this three line at the front is where you know has to be like the center of your head that was just it just helps you make it easier for you so you just arrange your your wig cap on your canvas head just make sure that the back is aligning with the v shape and the center of the head that straight line going from the back going from the middle of this three line is the center of your head and after wearing it you have to stretch stretch sorry stretch your cap make sure you stretch your cap and pin it because this is just like your head and then you just see it as the top part of your neck where your wig will be laying so you pin it you pin it at that part just pin it at the back remember you have to stretch because this is a cap so you need to stretch and do everything and then after this we are going to be adjusting this cap for matching sewing adjustment is the key you have to adjust your cap if you are sewing for size 21 head and you have to take the size of your head your client's head or your personal head you have to know the size there are three major size size 21 size 22 and size 23 forgetting that there yeah, this is a size 22 canvas head you also need to adjust because the cap definitely has excess and since you are doing machine sewing machine sewing does not tighten the cap if it's hand sewing you don't need to adjust but machine sewing does not tighten the cap so it's like it even expands the cap as you are sewing so you have to adjust it you have to adjust before you start sewing so this is me just using the t-pin to adjust like tease the cap forward tease the excesses of the cap tease it forward yeah you tease it just tease all this excess part of the cap to just tighten it a little bit so this is we adjusting the cap we are teasing it teasing and teasing and teasing it to the front so you just take your time to tease you don't need to rush whatever you are doing especially for beginners or for anybody you just take your time to tease you don't rush whenever you are doing we because when you make a mistake that is it you have to like either restart everything or everything is just poured so you just have to take your time so when it is you bring it forward after teasing the excesses you just take it with the pin just like i did there you bring bring it forward minding the band do not bend the band just bring the excess from the back shift it forward just like you are adjusting it you bring it forward and then you pin it you bring it forward and then you pin it we are just going to do we are adjusting forward because there are a lot of ways people adjust if you check other um youtube youtube videos you can find some other ways to adjust like this is one of the simplest ways i'm showing you right now to adjust your wig cap so it's just tease it forward tease it forward and then you bring it for you you pin it at the 
at the edge there you just use your tip you know you can use your bobby pin to just pin it so that's it after pinning it you yes this is just pinning it i'll show you everything as i'm doing you can see it i've pinned it like that you see that the band there's no bending from the band i did not push the band forward no i did not bend the band i only teased the excess of the cap the mesh part of the cap that is what i teased and brought forward not the band i did not touch the band so remember that so that so that's not to go and bend the band and spoil your cap so i'm just doing those edges too because after this we are going to be sewing the sewing this ss part i'm showing what i'll be doing so i'm using this this um thread and needle to sew it so now you start from the edge from that part where you pin down where i'm pointing out you start from that part yes to that other part that is where you sew you start from that ending part to this other part where i'm pinning that is where you sew and i'll show you, show you how you are sewing when you want to sew you do not sew close to the edge of the band like you don't sew close to that place to avoid it from losing you don't sew close to that particular place you just sew from there yes since we are at the edge we are sewing close but when you approach further you do not sew close so let me just leave it here to see to show you to the end part of the sewing you can see the you can see how i sewed it not close to the edge not too close to the edge of the band so after tying it you make sure you tack the end very well and then you cut so after that you just remove the pin remove the pin 
no need um, to just hurry, just do it gently, you can just remove the pain. Just remove the pain from, so that we can see the SS. So you see the SS we are adjusting from this cap. So can you see the, the parts which we have removed? from this cup. This is the adjustment we are talking about. Now that's the SS part that might end up being too big or too loose for your weak cap. So that's what we just adjusted from this cup. So you just take it and then you cut it. Sorry about the canvas head. So you just take your scissors, your little scissors, and then you cut. Remember, don't cut too close to where you sew it or so that it will, so that it will not lose. So you just cut, just cut this part out, this SS part. You cut it out. That's good. I'm trying to bend the, the canvas head so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not cutting too far. I'm also not cutting too close. It might look a little bit close to you, but it is not too close so as to lose. So you just cut it. Make sure your hand is under it so as not to cut the band. Make sure you see what you are doing while cutting. Don't just take scissors and start cutting. You must see where you are cutting before you cut. So that is it, guys. I've I removed like this part from the wig as you can say it's really that simple it's not into it's not like a process where you can make too much mistakes you can just use some um caps that you're not using to just try it first before you use number before you use any cup so that is it it has been adjusted so let's start uh, let's start the sewing one to do so so we're going to be using two bundles 200 gram of this bone straight piano hair from Barbie signature wigs like this hair is the bomb like it's an SDD a super double drone hair so that is what we can you can see the lushness of this hair the lushness <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, this hair is fire from Barbie Signature on Instagram. You can check them out. Like, you can check us out because definitely is my page. So this is what we're going to be using and a closure. That's what we're using for this week today. You can see how it is. This thing is definitely fire, fire, fire. So anyway, let's go right into business. Firstly you put your closure if you are using a frontal you do the same thing we're about to start marking tracks but before you mark tracks you have to mark the part where you will be laying your closure if it's frontal the same thing you are going to put it down pin it down and mark the track for the closure or the frontal first before you start marking tracks for any other thing any other bundle you are going to sew to it you have to cut out not cut out mark out sorry mark out the parts you are going to lay your frontal your frontal or your closure in this case we are using closure so you have to shift it to the edge like if you even have to leave one inch away from your from your wig cap you can leave one inch away from your wig cap you can leave just one inch is fine you can put it directly at the edge. You can also leave one inch from your wig cap. You pin it down because you can definitely not draw by just putting it there. You have to pin it down. That's why this pin is very important in wig making. Like you need to have these bobby pins or your T pins because you are always pinning things. Since you are sewing, you are always spinning it. So you put it at the middle, like I told you before. These two lines on the wig cap, on the canvas head, is just showing you that this is the middle. It's just like a guideline showing you. If you want it to be side, if you want your, if you are doing a side part, you can definitely take it to the side, left or right, any how you want it. But this, we are doing a center part. That's why it's in the middle of the wig cap. So you just, I'm just trying to, um, clip out this 
part of the hair that of the closure that is so as not to disturb me just clip it out and then so you can see the edges to clip very well to pin down so you pin it like this does not say it's not a one day job to master everything so you have to take your time make sure you settle down you pin it in the middle it doesn't shift it's not it's not if it's not equal you remove it to start to well, me too that's what i'm doing if i see it's not equal i remove it that is not it's not glue it's just pin you take it out you repin it again just to make sure even if you need the opinion of someone else you can just ask ask your friend that's your neighbor is this thing in the middle is this thing look like it's in the middle just to confirm so as not to make any mistake so you pin it at that particular place which you want it to be if you want it to be in the middle you pin it there and then i'm just cross checking to see if it's really in the middle if there's any space that i'm missing if there's anything that's what i'm just doing right now checking this making making sure i stretch it very well like i put it in the middle <laughs> i'm just saying middle and i'm thinking about sweet in the middle you know you know you know <laughs> anyway let's go back to being serious so so after clipping this is how it is this is how i want it to be if you want it by the side keep it i've already told you how to shift it to the side if you want it in the left or the right so now we are going to start our marking our track marking track marking is important because it serves as a guideline to where and where you need to sew your wigs how if your wigs are if your bundles are going to be enough we have to put this bundle how to arrange it so firstly like i said we have to mark where the closure where this closure is going to be you just mark it after pinning it you mark where the closure is going to be just mark according to the lines just according to where you pin it the edge of the closure you mark it because that is where you are going to sew the closure the reason why we are doing this mostly is because we are going to remove the closure the closure is like the second to the last thing we are going to sew so it's not going to be here yeah, so we don't want to go and start sewing and then after sewing everything we put the closure and the space remaining is not enough for the closure you have to start losing and doing everything so you mark the track for the closure because definitely the closure is the second to last thing you sew so after marking the tracks and everything you remove the closure before you start sewing the bundles so that's the main reason you mark the track for the closure or the frontal because those are the last sometimes the last to sew sometimes the second to last to sew second thing the second before the last one you saw so so anyway that's just it marking it is there's no really too much technique or mathematics to this it's just as i'm doing it right now you just take your marking pencil your chalk or anything you are using to just mark it make sure you use bright color something that you can see something that will not easily clean off when you want to sew because as you are removing and putting the cap back it's my clean up so make sure you use something that is bright and that you can see very well so that's it just that nothing apart from what i just did so after that like you can see the tape i'm not a tailor this tape is what i use for this marking of tracks so i just pin it there to make it easy this is like an easy way some people do not use um the tape some use the tape sometimes i use the tape sometimes i do not use the tape i'm going to like shift it to the middle because it's not in the middle right now i need that tape to be in the middle so i'll shift it to the middle so this is just to help it's like a guideline just making things easy i'm just trying to make things easy for those of you that are watching this video right now it's just the tape makes it very easy for you to calculate your lines, to make it accurate, to make it equal. Like, okay, I want this to be five inches apart from each other. I want my my bundles, my weft to be two inches apart. This tape just helps you figure that out. Instead of you guessing, you can guess if you want to. You can just decide. Well, if you want it to be neat and you want it to be equal, you can just use the tape. It's an easy method for you to use. So I'm just 
sticking it down before I start drawing lines and I'm going to be using 15, 15 lines apart from each other for this my my wig that's why I'm going to be using 15 lines apart from each other so but firstly you need to at the edge the bottom of the cap you need there need to be a weft there so if I count 15 from the down to up it will be more than the weft so I'm going to start with five I'm going to count five sorry I'm not going to be using 15 I'm so sorry I'm going to be using 10 10 lines apart from each other not 15 so firstly I'll count five and then use five to draw the line on this last on this last part here on this down then I'll count 15 after counting 15 I draw sorry I did not okay yes I'm turning it right now so that you can see it very well I'm just drawing it to the edge like that kindly pay attention to what I'm doing I'm shifting it because I definitely need to see what I'm doing I could not get a good camera angle for you to see but I'll turn it real soon so you can see what I did so you just use the tape if it's favorable for you if you have something else you can use to just make sure to calculate your lines or if you feel it's not necessary you can do it from your head that is still very fine and let me tell you one thing your lines do not have to be perfect you are not doing um take a uh, the intro tech you're not doing intro tech in school you don't have to draw best line perfect line what you need to do is just get the lines right it might be crooked in some part but you will definitely get it right one day you don't don't aspire to have that perfect line nobody's going to see the line they're just going to see the wig that you sew going to see so just the line is just like a guideline to show you okay this is the part you have been showing this next um, weft this is where I'll be showing this web this is where I'll be showing it that is what the line is for so let me not talk too much let me just show you what I'm doing so as you can see I'm just doing it in the middle counting the lines one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so when I get there I'll just draw it I'm just doing it to the middle before I'll start taking it to the edge I'm just getting that line okay yeah this is where the line is then I'm taking it to the edge as you can see the space apart is because the wig is stretched now that's why you're saying when you remove it from the canvas edge you might see that oh this line you are saying is too big it's not big oh let me up with a bright smile on now Get me in the door that won't get lost now to the moonlight, I see you are real right now.
everything this is it the line is not perfect but we move <laughs> we move to greater things so this is the bundle of losing this so this is it so i'm going to tell you this is weft this black part of the bundle is the weft what we call the weft that one i'm touching is a single weft but when you join two together is double weft is a double weft so since we are doing a machine sewing we can double weft we can triple weft like you can add two three even if you want to add four but three i think three is the best for somebody that is saying so you can add it together you will sew it with machine sewing and then place it you can double weft you can triple weft but for hand sewing is just i think it's double wefting that that is the best you can do for it not to be bulky but if you are sewing with hand sewing is double weft for it not to be bulky but machine sewing you can do three web because you are using machine to sew it and it will be very flat it won't be any bulky so right now what i'm doing is just using my weft to to um using my um, bundles to just go through the lines i drew just to make sure that it's going to be enough like after drawing the line you have to use your bundles so, okay let me see you'll be marking it to say okay this will be here this will be here if it's going to be enough if it's not enough that's why you use something you can clean if you see that the lines you drew are too much and when you have tried the hair you've used it to test it okay this 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 you tried it and it's not enough or it is too much you clean it and redraw again that's what i'm telling you you clean it and redraw if it's too small and there is still bundles remaining you can add more lines to it so these two connecting lines i'm telling you when you draw to this ending these connecting lines are very important they are like the base the top of the cap so you have to have minimum or maximum of three minimum of two maximum three of these connecting lines it should not be more than three it should not be less than two of that connecting line those connecting lines are the ones that doesn't go straight to the front it's just the they connect those two long long lines and this particular um, um line i'm showing you right now that is close to the closure after you've drawn your line if you are drawing one million line two million line but there should be that one line that is close that is very close to your closure that you draw and the weft which you are going to sew on that line should be single weft whether you have been using three weft or four weft or five weft coming you are using machine sewing it's very flat it does not matter when it gets to this last line that is close to your closure or your frontal it has to be single weft has to be single weft i repeat if you have been using 10 weft coming or and it's very flat since you are using machine sewing or hand sewing or whatever sewing you are going to be using when you get to this end part this part that is very close to your closure the last line it has to be single weft that you are going to sew on that line so after all that has been said i'm going to I'm going to um, go and double weft. I'm going to double weft it. I'm just cutting out the 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 last line, the single weft I told you about the last line. If you want to sew, if you want to do, you have to cut that hard so that if the hair or oh, case you should not go and use that one by mistake. And when you are sewing, you go there and you carry it. When you, before you start sewing anything, you just mark. Just major the the weft that will enter that particular place, and then you cut it out and keep it because it's going to be the last one. Just keep it close to where you keep your closure, your frontal. As I'm removing it now, just keep it together because they are the two things you are going to sew last. So you just keep them in one corner. Just keep them safe there. Then you start sewing everything you want to sew. So after that, now I want to double weft. These are the two wefts that will be joining together, the two single wefts that will be joining together to double weft. And I'm going to be using the machine. So that is the butterfly machine I'm using. That is my baby girl I'm going to be using to sew. So I'm just showing you for you to see how it is before I start sewing it.
let me up with a bright smile on now Put me in the dark, so won't get lost now To the moonlight I see you, are real right now double weft should look like like just sewing two webs together so this is how it is and now i'm just can say very well i'm just going to start the placement of the bundles on the wig cap so you put just place it there use your pin yeah use your pin for everything in wig sewing use your pin for everything so what we're going to do is just to pin it to the cap pin it to the cap cut it and then go to the machine and sew it just that pin it to the cap now and cut it and go to the machine and sew it After cutting it, you remove it from your canvas head and take it to the machine. This, this is how it is. You pin it like that and then you take it to the machine to sew it. So here we have, I want to sew this weft down. And while sewing, as you're sewing, you're removing the pain. When you get to where there's pain you just remove it and then continue you get to the second part remove it and continue that's basically it like just get to that point just run it just make sure you are careful for you not to sew two parts of um, the wig cap together just make sure you spread it for you to see how you are sewing very well Let me up with a bright smile on now Put me in the dark, so won't get lost now To the moonlight I see you, are real right now Looking 
So I have to leave the sewing aside so as to prep this closure I'm going to use. Prepping of the closure means bleaching the knots. You can as you can see the knots are dark, they are black knots, so you have to bleach them so as for it to look more natural. And you can see the closure is a uh, free part, no parting on the closure, and I need center parts. So I'm going to put the parting and everything. So I am just going to rush this part of the video because um, I'll do another separate video which I'll upload very soon on prepping of closure, how to bleach it and everything. So I'm just going to rush this part real quick so as not to make the video very long. Let me up with a bright smile on now To me in the dark, to one careless now To the moonlight eyes you are real right now Somebody else, and that is you. Ooh, ooh, if I'm hanging with you, not the only one doing me. You already feel it, that give me a little more dark in the spotlight. Do I wanna know something? You look into my eyes and fell up. prepping of the closure this is what it is we've put the pattern we've bleached the knots as you can see the knots are not as dark as it was they look so natural like they are looking just like my skin tone so that is it just just watch out for the video on how to achieve this I'll be uploading it real soon. So let's move on to the business of the day. So we'll finish sewing down the we'll finish sewing down the bundles. Yes, the bundles. And now we're going to so remember this last line I told you about. I usually sew that's just for me. I don't know you can sew yours first you can sew this line first before you sew your closure but for me i usually sew my closure first before i sew this line reason being that it might be that the wig has shifted or something that happened different thing and then the closure this line i drew for the closure might not be the exact line and i will need to adjust the closure a little bit so that's why all this space left under this line I'm going to make use of them. So I sew my closure down first. So as if there's any shifting in my closure, I can definitely adjust this line. But if I sew this line back now like this, and then I have to shift my closure anyhow, anyhow, to the left, to the right, to the center, to the back, I will not be able to because I've already closed the line. So I sew my closure down first before sewing of any last line. that is it i'm done with this wig so i also laid down the band i sewed it and that is how it's supposed to be look at how neat this inside is it's so lovely i'm done with this wig so thank you very much for watching this video if there's any specific thing about this week or any specific thing you want to know and you want me to do a video on just indicate in the comment section thank you so much i love you subscribe do not forget to subscribe and like this video
Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.